right there. That's our kitchen area. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, go for it. Go share. What's your What's your win? Or what, what's What are you grateful for? Which one are you talking about? Oh my goodness, what am I grateful for? Um, I am grateful for um, this team, and I am grateful for being able to uh, be surrounded by all of you guys, and just continually being able to learn and grow, um, not only personally, but also um, all of my different team members as well. So um, my win, uh, and I wanna say for this year, has been um, not comparing. Not mm. compared to myself and um, the consistency that has come from that and staying in my own lane. Um, wow. A huge win for me this year. So you know what? I, I love that. Can I say something on that real quick? I want to have, have a few more stories before we get in here. But uh, Shireen and Paul, you know, you've had an incredible year. You've helped more people this last year. Definitely examples. We're going we're gonna to share some examples of what's possible in the new year this year. But I would say that's pr definitely one of your biggest wins. You definitely just like found your voice and we, you know, stayed told you to stay confident in what you guys were doing and you it bled into your like biggest frontline volume your biggest rate of growth you guys hit FIBC and have hit your first month of national just so incredible that is a great tip to start this morning staying in your lane would you give any secrets today on how how that how you helped yourself do that like because you've been coaching for a long time what helped you guys do that um you know what um I want to say that um in January of this year um, I had to, I had to come with grips, come to grips with some things in my mind. Um, as far as I re I really realized Brad that I was comparing myself with all the other people. And, you know, I had to ask myself, Shreen, what is it that you need to step into? And, um, I realized it was the comparison and I needed to stop that because it was literally sucking my joy. And whenever I, I said, you know what, that's it. I am doing this no matter what. I will grow and stay in my own lane. And that's where I'm going to get there. But I have made the decision. I am doing this no matter what. And when I started doing that, there was literally like this, this cloud of, um, you know, I don't know what you call it, but it was just totally lifted. And I just started going in my own lane and not caring about what was happening, um, you know, in other people's, um, you know, um, lanes and just focusing on, okay, this is what I need to do. And this is what my team is looking for. And that's honestly, that was the decision that I made that I was no longer comparing and I didn't need to worry about what was happening. I love that. So good. I think we can probably just end the call on that today right there. That was just like sharing a win. Paul, anything you want to add to that? I want to get to a few more voices, but I know your voice is powerful. Anything you want to add in there? You know, I, I would just say that when she did that, all of a sudden the creative juices began to flow. It was like Ooh. that was blocking her. And uh, she was working so hard and uh, it just seemed like nothing was happening. And all of a sudden, it just, it was a big turnaround. She got the creative joy and, and people just started coming out of the woodwork. It was amazing. I love it. I love it. That is a big win there. So staying in your own lane. I love that, Susan. All right, let's, uh, let's do one more. Who else wants to pop on here? Yeah, go for it. Go for it, Jen. So, um, you know, you talked about like, what are you grateful for? And, you know, I've just, I'm still like just in massive shock that I was able to leave teaching. Like, I'm just like, how did this happen? Like, how did it happen where, you know, I just started helping people and helping people win. And, um, and all of a sudden this thing happened that I wasn't even expecting. And so, you know, just as I'm, you know, reflecting on, you know, what I'm thankful for and grateful for is just being able to be home, you know, work from home, being there for my kids. You know, I was, I was talking to someone the other day about, like, I don't worry anymore. If one of my kids like gets sick at school or whatever, it's like, I'm here. I can go pick them up. No problem. I'm not having to like call a neighbor to like, Hey, can you go get my kid? Or, you know, just things like that. It's like, wow, I'm just, I'm just super thankful for this opportunity of coaching and not just how it's benefited me and my family, but how, just like how Shireen was saying, it's like just being able to, you know, give to other people and help other people win. So that's been awesome. So good, Jen. Definitely a different place than a year ago. Let's do one more before we pop in today. Who else wants to share something they're grateful for or win? Or... Go I would on. like to. Go for it, Kenny. Kenny jumped in. 
Yeah, so I, uh, you, you know, this journey kind of started kind of quick for Julie and I. We're both relatively new coaches. It's our first holiday season. I actually met Brad at convention. Julie started coaching back in April. And guess who her first guinea pig was? Me. So I started out around 260, and I'm in I'm below 200 now, so doing great. And um, But the ripple effect for us has been just, you know, I didn't do it on purpose, and nobody actually told me, but I actually put my journey on Facebook weekly shared my story weekly, and I guess being live and being raw, I had a few weeks where I gained, a, you know, half a pound or whatever, and I talked about it, and people were watching, and I didn't even realize it. Her phone started ringing off the hook, and by the time we got to convention, things just blew up, and I asked Brad one thing. I said, hey, what can you tell me as a new guy? He said, you've got to come to these trainings, be consistent, show up, and do the work. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you guys going, especially new coaches going into holidays, I've got a rather large um, – circle of friends, close to 2,000 friends. I'm going out now, going through the alphabet, touching those folks, doing a couple likes, a post, getting them back into my orbit. And this week, the phone started ringing again just on the top of the alphabet from those folks I've touched on. So be consistent with the work in, and uh, the magic's going to happen. So. Yeah, and that, and she's really leaning into our mentor, Carlene, and, and Brad, and asking for help and making sure we're on the right track. That's That's been the goal. Yep. Uh, and I our, love our business, we've tripled since uh, since convention. Our business has tripled. So I love that. You can tell your heart right away what's going on there, planting the seeds, doing the work. I love it, you guys. That's a great tip. And honestly, I think that sets us up for today, Susan. Let's jump into today. We're, what, 7.05 right now, ready to go. And let's just, just check the chat real quick here. How many people? 165 today. Now, I kind of called that out yesterday, Susan. Like, I was like, you know what? There's going to be a few less people consistent. So I want to congratulate all of you guys for, like, staying consistent, even on the holiday weekend, because consistency, like Kenny just said, is what creates success. So I just want to say congrats to you all for being here today, and welcome to week number five. If you don't know me, my name is Brad Miller. I'm one of the hosts of this call. I have my co-host with me today, Susan LaBelle. Are you here? I'm here. Good morning, everyone. I'm loving it so far. This is awesome. Good all to right. see you. I'm going to share my screen real quick and we will get started. If you haven't yet, drop it in the chat. Where are you tuning in from? And what is your biggest win for yourself personally over this last season? I love Shireen and Paul's. I love Kenny and Julie's. Uh, Jen, that was amazing. I'm loving all the ones in the chat. Just so powerful, like all the people here. So we're going to hop into today. And let me see if I can actually click the – there we go. We got it figured out there. Um, love the stories we shared. Um, we're in week number five. Let me check my notes here real quick. Um, let's see here. Biggest win. Loving that. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a different call today. I hope you guys have your notepad. We have gone through the last five weeks of showing you exactly what it looks like to have a growing business, to coach well, like a pro, like the mindset, the things that create consistency in your business, the things that will set you up for this new year. Um, Today, we're on a holiday weekend, and you guys have put the work in. So I want you guys to kind of picture like you're having coffee. Hmm, I actually didn't wake up this morning and make coffee. This is actually, uh, believe it or not, it's uh, Nescafe. Don, I have Nescafe like we had in Aruba. Uh, anyways, put that in my, my Starbucks coffee cup. Um, but I want you guys to picture just having coffee with Susan and I this morning as we go through some stuff today. We're going to do a recap. We're going to open up some businesses to share some things and some tips of what's possible. Because honestly, we have so many people that can train that we only got to a fraction of the voices. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. You guys have done the work. You've stayed consistent. Whether you're in a, you know your stuff. Just like Shireen said, she had to stay in her lane. She knew what to do. She just needed to find that spark inside of herself and find the joy. Like back to what Kenny and Julie were saying, like getting after it and making connections. It's just doing the work, and this is the best time to do it. We're going to have some tips for you on what to do this next season, um, but we're going to just kind of do an overview and some breaking down of some things. We're actually going to do a recap of what the integration call was. We had a lot of questions on that this week, and then Susan's going to end up covering just like what the mindset is to have during the season. How do you make a lot of impact? How do you stay consistent with the holiday season? What There is a way that you approach this season that, guys, if you follow what we're talking about here, I just have to flat out say you're not thinking big enough for what's possible. Um, the next season ahead will be built on this time, and you will grow through this season. By the way, also, congratulations to all of you. No one told you that it's the holidays. Apparently, you know how to coach well because we're still – Bro, we're all trying to have our best month ever. People are thriving. I, I'm in at almost all the client pages, and I just love the wins that are happening right now. So I really want to give a strong kudos to all of you. You guys are transformational coaches. 
So congratulations on that. And we did something different during the series because um, you know we actually have six transformational leadership habits that we subscribe to to help us be world-changing organization. And we just kind of been touching on them each week, different one. And what's cool is each one is really like hit into the topic of the day. Yeah, I didn't plan that. I just went through them in order. But this week's topic is awaken potential, transform masterfully. That's for ourselves and for others. Our goal around us is to show people what's possible, to plant that seed, to awaken potential, and then transform masterfully. What I love about that is I used to, I'll just be open and real. This is kind of be an unplugged call with you guys all today. I used to have, I used to try to be really like interesting. If you guys all heard the quote, be interested, not interesting. I was trying to be interesting to people, but our system is the transformation process. When I just became really interested in people and interested in being consistent and very interested in doing the work, the people really showed up and things got easier. Like that stuff that Shireen was talking about, those things like stayed in your lane is so good. So that's the habit today. I want you guys to really just think about that. We are focusing on awakening potential and transforming masterfully by helping people gauge your own process. Susan, anything you want to add into this today before we hop into the whole opening it up? Um, no, I mean, really, the everyone that shared here at the beginning actually spoke to this about really, I mean, Shereen, beautiful, like awakening the potential of yourself within, like taking that time and that transformation. It's impossible, you guys, to fake what we do and fake off to be at. When you are awakened and transformed, that's what attracts people into what we do. And then we are able to awaken and transform others. So, so beautiful. And yeah, tease us up beautifully for today and for the season ahead. It totally does. I told you we're going to take a little bit of a slower approach on this call. We're having coffee today. I'm just reading the chat right now. I'm just honestly, you've got... I'm, I'm, blow, I'm trying not to get emotional about it. Like I'm blown away by you guys and what you guys do. Like I'm just watching the chat here like, oh, I became senior coach this week. Congratulations. The personal growth, the view of freedom, the ability to transform people's lives. I'm just watching the chat, all your guys' biggest takeaways from this season. It's so good. And so I'm just happy to be here with you guys this morning. And um, it's going to be a powerful season ahead. So let's jump in today because we've already covered it, you guys. We talked about skill set plus action plus mindset plus consistency equals success. I want you guys to think about where you were when you, where we started this last year. You guys are all probably massively ahead of where you ever thought you could be. And that's what we're really embarking upon this next season. We've talked about the planting of the seeds in this time. That this is actually not gonna be a, a, a way to like, this isn't gonna be a time to really slow up. We're gonna have a great season ahead. But it's really going to culminate like your January, February, and March will be a tale of what you do during this season for sure. It'll be a slingshot effect. So what I really want to encourage you guys is to think big. Whatever you're thinking about for your business and just even taking the time to think big. One of my favorite quotes from my dad who was my business coach was like, I, he start, someone asked him when he started coaching, is like, where do you want to be in five years? Or also back to his previous like, are you anywhere closer to your goals from where you were five years ago to where you are now. He's like, I'm not any closer to where I was 20 years ago. So just the ability to think about where we want to grow and evolve into would be my encouragement to you today because you guys have done the work on this. So before we hop in, I told you we'd use the chat a lot today. If this is your first Coffee and Consistency series that you've stayed consistent in, drop me a one in the chat. I want to see all the new people because I know we have a lot of new people on here today. One, 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 one. Welcome all you guys. Congratulations on being consistent. I love it because, guys, I, I don't have to like, there's nothing to fake here. If you guys do the work, it happens. So I just want to congratulate you on being consistent. We've done about seven of these now. And every time we do, we grow in the months that we do. But really where the growth comes from massively is after them. And so that's why we want to do one in this season. And we want to review the basics. It's all the basics that, that make the difference. That's why we have everyone that trains runs over 10,000 frontline volume because you can't fake the work. It's easy. If you do the work, it will work. It's just how much time you put it in. Where do you want to go? And what do you want to focus on? So let me ask a second question. If you've done more than one of these, how many put, put the number of how many trainings, coffee and consistency series that you've done personally? Maybe, and if you don't really know exactly for sure, if it's been like more than five, just take a guess and, and put it in the chat here. So I love it. I'm seeing the people in here that are putting it in. It's really good. Like success leaves clues. All of them. I love it. This is perfect. All right. So let's jump into today. So our goal is really with this is the train is we go step by step through the system and we're gonna do a recap of it today and then we're gonna leave you with some great things to work on this season because we're kind of in a mini recap we have we'll have a final call in the first um, the second Saturday actually of December because that'll be the eighth 
but we're all going to be intentionality summit next week. A lot of us will be, or most of us will be for that, for that case. Um, our goal is to just show you what works and we don't have enough, like we don't have enough time. I'm looking back to all the people that trained over this last like five weeks and there's still just a not enough time to get everyone to speak. So I wanted to open up some people to give some examples of their business um, to just share a tip with you today as we go into season because there's so many people that could share. We just haven't had the time. So I wanted to start off with Michelle Luters coming on here and just sharing a tip with you guys today. We're going to do this really quick because I'm already actually kind of behind time on this stuff. But uh, Michelle, would you come off here? You know, you've been coaching for a while. Um, really great. But I remember something happened. I chose you because – um, one, you run well over 10,000 frontline volume. You're a full-time teacher. You're super awesome. But also, but something happened this time to you last year. Would you share a little, because your business has quadrupled, your income has tripled. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, you follow the systems and that's what really was the catalyst. You're probably not working much more than you were a year ago at this time, which is the artwork of what we want to show you, to show you how to work well. What is your tip that you'd want to give people as you come into season? Would you share a little bit on that real quick? Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. You got out of bed. Congratulations. I did get out of bed. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to be on, Brad. Um, yeah, I would say that the Intentionality Summit was a huge game changer for me. Um, I will have been coaching four years coming this January. And for three years, I just sat at ED. And I, I became ED in my first month coaching. And that's where I sat for three years. And coming to the Intentionality Summit, kind of just opened my eyes to really what was possible. Um, I knew the gift that we had, but I don't think I believed in myself and I believed in what I could really do. Having um, been there, I started realizing that I was maybe looking at my business as like I needed coaches and I needed clients. And I changed that. And now I realized that they needed me. I didn't, I was trying to build my business based on me going out and finding more clients and, and wanting coaches. And now I don't, it's not that I want them and need them. It's like they need us and we have a gift to give them. And I really think that that was a shift in my mindset of inquiring more clients and acquiring more coaches was what we had to offer them and not where they could get me in my business. Um, I think that these trainings have been game changer for me as well. I used to listen to the recordings or I was like, I'm never going to get up and listen to a call at 7 a.m. <laughs> and now I'm on every single one of them. I'm on the Monday night calls. I'm on the Wednesday night calls. Every single Saturday, I'm up. Well, maybe not up, but I'm on them. <laughs> and I think that that just something about being on live. I don't, I don't just, it's totally different to me. Even though I would listen to the recordings on my long drive to work, it was just different actually being on live with them. And I think that just the gold that we get from these trainings. Like you said, I am a teacher and I've been a teacher for 19 years and I, I have to go to trainings and pay for trainings. And you guys provide us with trainings for free that are just amazing. And it's like, why wouldn't I want to tap into all these amazing trainings that are going to better my business and better me, I feel as a person as well. Um, so my biggest tips would be to definitely jump on all the trainings you possibly can, come to all the conventions and everything you possibly can. And just really link arms with, you know, your support team. Dawn is amazing. Dawn is my coach. And then Brad, you are, you know, right above Dawn. And the three of us, I think that I know that I can reach out to the two of you at any time. And you guys are going to jump on calls with me and you're going to help me. You help me help my team and build my team and build me up. And I appreciate that. Awesome. I love the tip. Congratulations. And thank you for your example. I think a lot, I mean, the chat's blowing up. So a lot of people resonate <laughs> with that. Be on the calls live and the value that you bring. So good. All right, let's do a couple more. Uh, Tim and Kelly, I wanted to bring you guys on. The, the five weeks went fast, but I want to bring you guys on, on another premise. Um, you guys, again, back to this time, I remember two years ago, you made a decision, you were integrated regional and you were like, we're ready to grow. What does that look like? You made the decision. Three months later, you were global, and again, in the service of others. And, and, then on, and then back to the next year, you made the same decision, and your business has more than, I think, almost tripled this last year. What are some tips that you have? Like, what would you give a tip-wise to people as we start this new year, like, with what's possible? What helped you guys get in that growth? Because you guys actually, back like Michelle, had been coaching a few years previous to so that, like, big growth that you had. Well, great question. Uh, thanks for... Uh Thanks for having us here too a little bit. And uh, sorry, Kelly is out. She has a uh, had another appointment. But um, you know, I guess the um, uh, the the 
I mean, Michelle just nailed it too. You know, it's, this is a gift and, you know, get really obsessed over giving this gift away. You know, we're actually seeing, we're seeing um, team members uh, cut back or, or even come home from, from jobs to be more fully present in their family and their lives. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's been, it's been amazing. The freedom that, uh, this uh, gift has, has given us, you know, um, we've had a lot of life this past year. Uh, some of it really fantastic, you know, some weddings and, and things like that. And some of it has been a little more challenging, but we were always able to be fully present in everything that we're, that, that life brings our way because of the freedoms that, that, um, Optavia has afforded us. So, Literally, just um, you know, we work very closely with, uh, with with Brad for sure, Brad and Ashley. But um, you know, just getting really clear. And Brad's asked me this countless times until it actually kind of got to my thick skull. Um, <laughs> what is it that you want to create? What it, you know? What's the culture? What's the vibe? What's all this? You know, that the life that you want to create and get clear on that, and then work with your mentorship team on creating it because it really is that we can. This is an amazing vehicle. We can create what we want to create from this. Um, and the more we help other people win, the more, the more we win ourselves. I mean, we've, um, the first time in our lives, we're debt free. Like we just, uh, it's been a crazy year. We've had a, uh, we've had a wedding. We've got two more coming up uh, this next year. That, and we're not even frightened over it, you know? That used to like freak me out. It's like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, we're just, you know, we've, uh, we rented a beach house earlier in the year, uh, to, um, to host some of our leaders, um, rented another beach house in La Jolla this past fall to, uh, uh, to host some, uh, some parties and family and friends out there. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. The, um, the life that we get to have by helping other people win. So again, just, you know, work with your mentorship team. Um, you don't run out ahead of them or, or, or sideways, just link arms and work with them because that uh, they see what we don't see. Yeah. They've been there. So anytime somebody has been up and around the corner, they know it's, they know it's happening. And so that's, that's a big deal. Do not give up on your dreams, man. Just go after them. You know, that's a, that's a big deal because they come true. They really do. This is a vehicle to get us to where we want to go by helping other people get to where they want to go. So this is all just, I think the most amazing part of this whole um, structure is that this community makes us all better and stronger together and, and we're all moving in the same direction. So, you know, stay close to your team. This is a, this is a, it's a pretty amazing life. Oh, Tim, I love that. Such good stuff. I, I love the heart in this, doing the work, making the decision. All right, I'm going to move on to another example. Thank you for that. Um, Nicole Rodriguez, you are next on here. So another thing, because I just wanted to give a bunch of different examples of what people could resonate with. You are extremely busy. You have a full-time job. And actually, one of your things, because we're hitting on the structures and the systems, is you weren't really doing the systems that well. Two years ago, you were actually senior coach. You had slid back from executive director. And then you made a decision that you were finally ready to do the work. Your business has, I don't know, like, what did that be, like 80 times what it was, where it was two years ago. Um, but you got really good at the structure. And, and every, the last two years, you've really continued to explode. And you explode every single month. But you got really good at serving people. And I, I'm pretty sure your time of how much you give into coaching hasn't gone up tremendously since that time. What are your tips for people here? Like what, people are probably saying, I want what Nicole has. Like you're you know, new, integrated, national. How did you do that? What's your tips for people here on this line? Yeah, I mean, everybody's been giving a lot of great tips and I just feel so incredibly blessed to be in this place. Um, I think sometimes I'm still speechless. You know, I'm creating freedom in my life that I never had even been able to dream of two years ago. So when your leadership team is telling you dream bigger, that's not big enough. It's because they just desire to see you grow because when you win, they win. So it's really getting out of your own way, out of your own head and thinking there's like ulterior motives. And you know, if this is just, we have a business that is everybody is saying it's a gift. It's a gift from the heart. And because everybody is, 
is winning by supporting one another. And there's just such an amazing community of support behind you because the more freedom you create in your life and the lives of others, the more people that are going to be impacted. And when I started to realize that and I started asking questions like what's next, I stopped looking at how fast other people's businesses were growing. I stopped looking at how much money they were making. And I started asking myself, what is it that I would love? What kind of freedom do I want to create in my life? And like, I just, as I started doing that and leaning in and I heard Brad and Denise say over and over again, follow the systems. I said, fine, I'm going to do that. And it really is magical. If you do the work, it will pay off. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. So you can't just sit back and expect that by sitting there by just saying, well, I just want to create this income, but I'm not going to do very much. It doesn't work that way. You really have to put in that time. And like Brad said, it's not a ton of time. I'm not working a lot more than what I was doing before. I just continue to work smarter by following what's already there. Um, and so it's just don't give up on the systems. They really have been put and tested before us for a reason. So just follow it. Don't reinvent the wheel don't take shortcuts and just keep dreaming bigger. So if your support team comes back to you and says, well, what's bigger than that? Go there. Don't be afraid to go there because there is nothing that you can't continue to reach for because you have so much support available to you. And I'm so excited that come this January, I finally get to move part-time in my 60 hour a week career. Like it was such a push pull for me, especially in this last year. I mean, Brad and Denise watched this happen because I love the children that I work with, but I wanted to be present and I wanted to take my own mental health and my physical health to a complete other level. And I knew that it was time. I needed that freedom. My heart needed that freedom. And that's what Optavia has given me. That's what my mentorship and my leadership team has given me. And it's just an amazing blessing. So just don't give up keep diving in and amazing things will happen. Love it, Nicole. Um, one quick tip on you, cause you are so busy. I, I mean, with it, your schedule, your schedule is packed. How did you schedule it in? Just like in 10 seconds or less, like how did you, like how did you take a full schedule and schedule in the routes? Like what, did, what, what helped you do that? Cause you were like, okay, cool, I'll finally do it. But mm -hmm. what helped you actually, like, what did you do? I first listened to what you guys said, what the rocks were. So trainings, those were rocks in my schedule. I started there. And then every little area in my life where I was like, do I really need this or do I not? Like Netflix and chill. Yeah, that's great. But do I need it? No. If I want to do other things, I'm going to take that time out and I'm going to invest into something that's going to create bigger freedom so that, yeah, down the road, I can Netflix and chill at some other point in time. In the morning, I spent like 15 to 20 minutes of intentional time before I got ready for my day. And I made that time work for me. Um, and so you really just have to plug it in and you cannot make the excuse that something else is more important than that. I love it. And you know what, by the time you uh, get rid of Netflix and chill, you never want to Netflix and chill ever exactly. again. So, all, so right. <laughs> all right, let's jump in. I want to do one more and then we'll hop into today. Um, ho I, the chat's blowing up. So hopefully you guys are seeing the gold of this. I, I personally love seeing examples of how people did things. It helps me understand like, oh, wow, that's how I can do that too. It's not, it's not just what they show you. It's real life. And I only got to a fraction of the people that I wanted to. Um, let's do one more. Denise and Frank, I wanted to bring you on because you guys are, you, have, you run super high frontline volume for a long time. We haven't had to, we haven't got to hear your voices on this. But also very similar to Tim and Kelly, you were like, two years ago, you were like, I really want to grow. You were like, oh man, I'd love to be at like 83,000 group volume. I'd love to see more lives change. And I was like, guys, you guys aren't thinking big enough. You approached a new year and like you just really exploded. You guys have continued to grow. The amount of people you're touching is massive. I just love seeing all the breakthroughs. Could you give us one tip that if you're like, if people are here like, oh, I want to grow to that next level, what, what is it that Denise and Frank did? Can you give us this like one little nugget that helped lead to that much breakthrough in the people's lives around you? Well, Brad, thank you so much for having us on today. It's, um, it's an amazing thing that when you lean into your mentorship and you ask them a question and you really listen rather than ask them and then go and decide to do it on your own. Uh, you have the steps that's all been done for you. And when you integrate it as part of your life, it becomes who you are. And then this life just happened. This life that I never thought I'd have. And the dreams of getting bigger and bigger 
and then you attain that goal and you go, wow, then it becomes over three and a half times what you really thought. Um, you get to show people what this life can be and it can really make a difference in so many people's lives. And like Brad, like Brad and Frank have all been saying, you know what? Lean into your mentors. Guys, be willing to grow. I was able to post a family picture yesterday. I never thought I would have. Four and a half years, I never knew what was going to happen. There's a lot in our, in our life that goes on behind the scenes. But that picture meant everything to me. And because of my own health, but also my emotional health and working on myself, it's not always easy, guys. And there were times that Brad and Terry said things to me and I wasn't quite ready, but I was ready because I wanted this. I wanted family. I wanted to be able to travel with my husband. We love doing that. And I got to post a family picture, guys, yesterday that I didn't think would ever, ever happen. And... But doing that, and also in just the last year, our business has more than three times. So that 83000 that I wanted, that, um, that million-dollar business, Brad's like, why 83000 Because in a year, that'd be a million-dollar business. Well, guys, we're almost five times that, okay? Yeah. Ask your mentors. And really, really, people say, what is any, we say lean into your mentors. You don't know what that means. Go ask them. Okay. They're there to guide you. And like Nicole says, it is in your best interest for you. By us helping you win, we all win and lives get changed. Thanks, Brad. I love that you guys. Susan, I think that's a, I think we started the day just all right. Cause you know what? The, the we, we've gone over the house, by the way, Frank Denise, that was amazing. I saw that picture by the way. It was truly incredible. Um, appreciate you guys and all the people that you desire to help your true example of what servant leadership to others looks like. And that's honestly, if you're asking yourself, okay, how do I grow like that? Okay. You guys, I just, I just want to bring it back to it. We've given you the steps. We've given you the systems. We've given you the layout. The tighter you do these things, the more consistent you are, the easier it duplicates, the more lives you can touch. It's not something, one thing they did. It's, it's a bunch of things that they did consistently over time, like how Kenny was talking about, how Shireen and Paul were talking about at the beginning of this call. So as we hop in today, we're just going to do a recap so we can just get into the action of this season and finish up this month strong. Susan, anything you want to add to just these examples that we've gone over here today? I don't know. My heart's just like, just like so full this morning. I know. Like first thing, I know many of you, Denise and Frank, we, we just, um, I think it's, uh, I love all the, um, you know, the dreaming big and you guys, it's almost like you don't even, it's so, how many of you just started with like, I don't believe it could happen for me. All of you that probably shared at some point were like, you don't have to believe it. You don't, if you don't believe it right now, that's okay. Just do the work, <laughs> just get into action and do the work because one day you'll look back and you'll be able to connect the dots and be like, Oh my gosh, they were right. I think I heard that from all of you guys. Like it actually worked. So if you're waiting just to believe it's going to be for you or happen, I think Michelle, you started with that. Like I didn't believe it could happen. Well, if you don't, you're right. But the, like, it's okay if you don't believe it, just do the work, just do the, do exactly what we're laying out here and um, just get into action, work structurally, um, you know, take that emotion out of it and just do the work and it'll, you'll be amazed what you'll be able to do next year. You know, you'll be sharing on this call like, wow, like I just did, did the steps <laughs> and here I am. So I love that. I love all the heart, the passion and just congratulations to you and so many others on this call. So. I love that. So spot on, Susan. And, you know, that's why we're kind of, again, back to if you hopped on late, we're kind of having a relax. Like, we're having coffee again. All, what are we up to? 210 of you are at my house right now, hanging out, having coffee right now. By the way, congrats to all of you guys. Like, stay inconsistent. I, that's why I love you guys. Like, who wants to wake up early on a Saturday morning? You guys. And that's why I can tell you you're going to make that difference. And by the way, I love what you said there, Susan, too, just to the people that are there, just in case you're ever wondering, it doesn't look perfect all along the way. Just so you notice, that's why we have this slide. I just want to let you know, like some of our biggest victories came after right after being like, oh my gosh, why can't I get this right? But just stay focused on the systems, coach structurally, stay consistent, stay in service of others and be very clear on where you want to go. So let's just jump into today because we're going to do a recap. Because honestly, you guys, you guys know your stuff. You know it. And if you don't know it completely, you will work it out 
in action. You will not figure it out by more trainings. You will figure it out by action along the way because all you really need to do to be a really good coach, just so you guys know, because that's what this training is all about, is be connected to the people that you're serving. If you focus on them, you can't do anything wrong. Everything we're showing you is above and beyond to help get you better results because I personally love helping people win and being able to know that I can help anyone if I just follow a layout and I don't need to be super amazing um, like Susan LaBelle or like Denise and Frank or Tim and Kelly or I just want to be Nicole. Like how do you get ready while watching a call? You're so cool. Like I wish I could do that. I'd probably just fall over while I was watching the screen. But anyways, that's another topic for the day. We've shown you the stuff to do. We're in the fifth week. I was going to show you a bunch of business examples of like what's possible so you can dream bigger, but I think we've got it. I just know, just know there's a ton of what's possible. Here's where we're at today. Susan's going to wrap up today with showing us some examples of really how to work this season well, what to be doing to finish this month strong. Um, Allison and Donna are going to come in because we had so many questions of like, okay, what is, what is your actual integration call look like? But I wanted to set the tone just by helping you guys remember that you have these basics. So that's what the notepad's for today. Hopefully you guys have your notepads out right now. Who said it? Someone said it or mo multiple people said it earlier is I started by putting the rocks in. I think it was Michelle and Nicole. Rocks in your schedule. Do you have those basic rocks that we went over? There's a reason why we spent an entire call doing those things because if you have those things in place, it gives you the foundation to grow and to feel like you're on top of everything. So the rocks in the check-in day, the little touches each day, the no time for Netflix and chill, or maybe just a lot less of it, um, the daily texts, like your follow-up Friday, all of those things. Are those rocks in your schedule? Do you show up to it? I always thought about this when I got started. I was like, did, am I like, if I'm going to go and work 60 hours a week and I'm going to never going to miss those 60 hours, why don't I show up to like my 10 to 15 hours of this Optavia time like the same way? And that's what we started doing. So are those rocks in your schedule? Being a pro and being organized, we have all of our documents well stocked. There's not many of them, but there's the map, there's the health assessments, there's a coach explorer. You guys have those pieces ready to go. That's what a world changer coach does. Understanding how to grow in compensation. Do you guys remember that we already went over this stuff? Like you've learned so much these last five weeks. Social media, every single week, someone has brought a different tip of gold to help you realize and find your voice. But the main point was just stay consistent, be out there. Kenny, I love what you, what you guys hit on it. You started this call, you and Julie. So good. We've learned about bringing it to a health assessment because if you're not doing health assessments, then really you're not doing the main point of the entry point of our business of helping people transform lives. Sonny went over how to do that masterfully. You guys now know how to do that. I've seen your health assessment quality go up as well because I see your clients doing better. We've gone over how to coach those people well during their first week. And then where we really got into this one, I got to mute someone real quick. Susan, do you anything you want to say since I just mute a few people real quick? No, it's just like, you guys, we, you, you know this. Put all of this as rocks in your schedule. Just get better at doing it every single day. It's like, what are you, you know? And it's just like all the little tweaks and the nuances. Every time I'm learning something and growing and becoming and getting better, I'm never arrived. I'm just, I'm learning from all of you right alongside you to just continue to dial this in and um, get better. There's no such thing as perfection. It's just just continuing to dive in and work to simplify this. And, um, you know, and the more structure, like you said, I think you said it, Brad, to like tighten all this up, it become there is a path of ease that comes with like tightening up the system and the structure. So my encourage, exactly, Susan. So my encouragement to all of you today, whether you're a pro at this is one, the pros always come back to the basic. That's why they're pros, just so you know. Um, but if you're newer, like whatever I just covered here today, Focus on that. What do you need to focus more of in your business? Like Nicole said, I just started doing these, these main rocks that they talked about. Um, so look at this list here today and say, what do I need to tighten up to get ready for this new year? Do I need to up my social media presence? Um, do I need to make sure I lock down my client integration day? Whatever the case may be, do I need to really do a better job of holding that health assessment and really focusing on doing more of those? What does your business need? Because this, it's on this list right here. Do I just not have clarity of where I need to go next? And that's why I'm just staying in the same spot because, you know, if you don't know where you want to go, any road will take you there. So like, like uh, Michelle said earlier, she just got really clear on what she wanted and then it became a lot easier once she dialed it in. She doesn't feel like she's working more. So basically we've covered it all. And that's what I kind of want to show you guys today. If this is your first training, like, oh my gosh, like you may have not realized how much has already seeped into you and how much little things you've learned. So that's where I wanted to bring it. I'm going to turn it over to Don and Allison for a second, because here's the deal. You guys, I got a lot of questions last week about the integration call, which actually makes me really excited. because That means we have a lot of new coaches or a lot of people that are like, okay, I'm really tightening up my systems. A lot of people that had questions, it's probably because you need to you know, like, like tighten up your rocks in your schedule. Cause this doesn't take more time if you do, but I want to provide a little bit more clarity to that. 
Because like what Jen covered about supporting your clients while they're waiting for their fuelings and the four components and getting them integrated early. Integrated clients start way before they ever start program. Coaching them in their first week, you know, the daily texts and then um, um, calling them for the first few days until they're in fat burning. Just keeping the calls nice and short and simple. Hitting that one week integration call. So I just want to give you guys some clarity on this as we, as we move into this. If you're not doing these yet, great, start. Like we didn't do them. I've been coaching for 10 years. We just started doing these like in like the last year and a half. So they just, but they up the integration factor of this, of your client's success and it accelerates life. So your goal, if your goal is to grow, these are a great thing to spend more time doing. Um, who should do them? I mean, honestly, if you're below ED, I would probably do them with every client until, you're, until your coach says, hey, you got the hang of it. And then you're going to probably scale it down to like the ones that you really want to bring into coaching early. Not because the clients that you don't want to coach don't get it. They'll still get that integration call. You're still going to go over the same things. But obviously, we all don't want to, we want to serve more people. We can't all be on call. So that was a good bunch of questions that we got last week. And um, if you're also, if you miss them with a client, don't stress them. But so I want to turn it over to Dawn and Allison. Could you guys cover like exactly what the flow of the call looks like for you guys? It's no different than how we do our weekly check-in. We kind of have a layout that we do. We keep it really simple and fun. What, is, what do you guys do to set up your call super easy and how do you guys go through it? A lot of people want to know, like get into your brain on how you guys do that. So I'm going to give, turn it over to you guys so we can cover that piece. Absolutely, Brad. I'm going to let um, Allison come off and share just a little bit about like her heart and how she thinks about these calls while I'm um, grabbing the PowerPoint. And then you guys, yeah, we're just going to go through, if you don't have a document for this, but we, again, it's like the four questions you do on a weekly check-in. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to pull up the PowerPoint so you guys kind of have a layout of the call and then we'll just really quickly walk you through it. But Al, why don't you come off and share a little bit of your um, heart on kind of what, when you're thinking about these calls, how you're approaching them and then kind of the difference it's made for you. Yeah. Hey, good morning guys. <clears throat> so the integration calls are something that just like what Brad was saying, I, if you aren't doing these right now, it's okay. Come back and um, set a plan with your mentorship. But honestly, what I'm finding is that these are a lot of fun being able to fully integrate your clients into our full offering, um, whether it be coaching or whether it be <clears throat> referring or whatever, um, these should be fun and you should come away from the integration zoom. Um, well, having fun, right Dawn? Yeah. And I loved what you shared last week about, um, you know, you've probably made a new friend, you know, the person better and, and you know, here's the facts guys. Clients are seeing success. People are noticing. And so what are we going to do with all of those people that are noticing, right? We want, we want our clients to have the best success but also we want to teach them the words, how to refer um, their people to, you know, to us or how to come alongside them and coach them. So not every integration call leads to an exploring coaching call, but what you will come away with is a more integrated client, someone who's wanting to, you know, live out loud a little more, someone who's more successful, um, someone who has the words and knows how to bring someone back into our community and probably absolutely someone who's going to come to coaching a little bit faster. Cause we know that that's, really truly in someone's best interest if it's a right fit. So uh, let's walk them through kind of what it looks like. So these calls, here's the call outline, you guys. Um, there's an introduction. Um, it's fun. You're keeping it friendly. The first thing we do though, Al, is you always call me five minutes before and we do a funk because the most important pieces of this are pre-funking and then the debrief so that people, so that you really can set your mentorship team up to be successful and just show up well for that client. Allison, anything you wanted to add there just for like the pre-funk and the debrief? No, I just honestly, I think that um, the integration Zoom is something that is an important part um, of all of our businesses, but the pre-funk and the debrief, truthfully, you guys, that's where the that's where the work is done so that we can show up well, so that you get the most out of this integration Zoom for your own business, but also for the client. The whole purpose of this is to integrate them so that they love us, right? And that they love Optavia. Um, and so we can't do that well if we don't do the pre-funk and the debrief, right? Am I, am I saying that well, Dawn? You are. Well, it's just, it, yeah, because of course, if I jump in and I'm confirming fat burn with someone who's on nursing moms, that yeah. works so well. So that's why it's really important, guys. Grab that five minutes beforehand, then introduce fun, friendly. It's all for them. This is for our clients to really get to share what they're loving. Um, we want to find out that they are following the plan that's the best fit for their goals and they're following it well. We want to help answer any questions. Usually, I mean, they're really excited to share. And then we get to, um, you know, 
find out what they're really Ask permission to share some tips, right? Because this is also to hop on and share some tips for long-term success for them because they're coming to us because we've got the goods, right? We know how they're going to be most successful. So we're going to share about the four components. We're going to find out how are they using those four components? Um, how are those making a difference in their journey so far? And then the conversation is going to organically move to, you know, who's noticing, what are their victories? Are they diving into our client support pages? Are they posting? Um, are they loving that? Are they loving the interaction? Um, you know, all of those things, what are they feeding their healthy mind? Um, we're just really going to have, it's, it's really the flow of a fun conversation. So that's what this is. And then, um, at the end, they're going to either know how to refer. They're going to be excited to live out loud a little more, or they're going to be excited to talk about what it's going to look like for them to help the people in their world. So anything else you want to add out about just kind of the outline and the flow of a call? No, I think, I mean, I think that's great. Just really keeping it simple, setting it up for success and having fun. You guys, we're adding value. We're having fun. And if you set this up well, you're going to have fun too. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing I found that the people who are doing this, like Brad said, if you're not doing this, know that these are here for you. If you are, then maybe you can take this and, you know, do it a little bit higher level. But if you really want to grow, if you want your clients to be successful and you want them to um, awaken to helping the people in their world a little faster, this is what people are doing. Um, so what happens after the call? So you're going to have a more integrated client. Um, they're going to know a little more about our community. They're going to know that you don't do this alone. That community factor, the fact that you have a mentor, um, that you have your health coach on the call with you kind of brings down that scared factor a little bit. Like a lot of people are thinking, oh my gosh, I could never coach my mom or my dad or my sister because I don't know as much as Allison does. I just, she just knows all of it. But when you, when I come on with Allison and they see that she's not alone, that we do this together, that brings down those walls and people can start to dream and they can start to put themselves in that relationship maybe with someone else. So, and they're more integrated. They know that they're not alone. Um, so more integrated client. They're probably going to live a little more out loud. We're going to encourage them to do that. Um, if they haven't started to share in our client support group, we're going to encourage them to share in there. Post a lean and green. Um, comment on other people. Cheer, you know, cheer other people on. And when they do that, you guys, they, get, they really fall in love with it. Um, and so they'll, they'll do more of it. And then do they know how to refer those people that are noticing? Or are they ready to chat about what it might look like to help them? This call, you're going to jump right back into continuing supporting them two touches a week for the first full month. That's just part of our client support system. You're gonna confirm that they know how to update that second premier order, kind of tie a pretty bow around their first month on program. That really sets them free so that they have autonomy and they know how that they're in control of their journey. And then you're gonna continue integrating them. So after these first week calls, um, really you just dive right back into that client support. You're just gonna have a more integrated client who really um, fully understands a bit more about our components and our community. Um, and you're going to probably even follow up with them in two to four weeks. Um, and then if they do say yes to exploring coaching, they've got people in their heart. You've already like, you, you know, you just kind of knew from the beginning that this would be something that they would want to do. Then you're going to send them the video. You're going to set up a time to explore. Um, the coach explore guys is a really important vital step. So you, you won't want to miss that step. And if that's something that you're still learning, pop in with your mentor. They will do these with you and for you until you get really used to them. But don't skip that step. I know sometimes people like, oh, I'm so, like, hi, I was someone who like, I went and got my own coach kit, guys, because my dad asked me about it. And I'm like, cool, no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. <laughs> and off I go. And I'm sure Brad was like, um, who's this person that it's like off and running? That's going to happen. It's not perfect. It's just progress. And, and you'll find if you do these calls, people understand what that next step is. And really, I think a lot of people just want to know that they would be good at it. What is the next step? So you can kind of guide them through this. Um, and then once they uh, are ready to help coach, you give them the video on how to order their coach kit. You dive in hand in hand, set up that three-way message with you and, um, and your mentor. And then you hit them within 24 hours um, really to do a launch and to help them get started. So Allison, anything you want to add to this before I kick it back to Brad? And um, no. Mm -mm. I think it's great. The, you know, really setting up the call up well, really having fun. And then honestly, going back to this, 
just, if you guys, if this isn't what you're doing right now, just start practicing it. Just make that a goal and just really connect with your mentorship team and you're going to find your groove and you're going to find that this happens naturally and that it really is fun. I love it. All right, Brad or Susan, kicking it back to you guys. And I wanted to say, Susan, so like where I jumped in and just, I got my coach kit and I was off and running. Susan, it, wasn't it eight months into your um, optimization phase that you decided to coach? So it's like, it's just cool that this gives people options and it gives them that they know what the next step is when they're ready. Yeah. I mean, so good. Just don't give up on people. I mean, I think that it's all timing and there are people that may say, no, don't take that as a no. It's really a not yet. It's a timing thing. Stay in their world, stay intentional. Um, just keep living out loud. It will attract people. That's what I saw. I said no. And then I watched all these people, part of our community, having a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm like, I want to be part of that. I want to. So, um, I kind of watched, I was like the fly on the wall. And when I was ready, I said yes. So um, they are the, there are those people out there. Um, Brad, you want me to just keep going? You have anything you want to kind of? Uh, I just want to put a pretty bow around this real quick. I just want to put a pretty bow around it, and then you can. Sure. Um, and that's why mom says. Every by the way, everything duplicates. That's why you want to have your systems in order. So if my mom says I want to put a pretty bow around it. So now I say that. Um, all right, you guys. Like hopefully you guys got that. It is such gold. I want to put again this back into context because we got so many great questions about that last week. You guys want to know how to coach well? You want to know how to like continue to have clients come in. You want to have them do well and be integrated. It all happens in the very beginning part there. Like what Jen covered, how Sunny did the health assessment, hitting that integration call up of those things. I was actually, we're doing a challenge in our support page right now. And I'm just watching people thrive through the holidays. And what's clicking in my mind is this. Every time I see someone put in something amazing in our support page, I'm like, I did an integration call with that person. That person's a rock star. They are integrated. Like, my client that I honestly like is like they're a coach and they're super independent. Like we haven't probably connected in a month is crushing it because we integrated them early and did an integration call. These are the magic things that will help move. And I love what you said, Allison is if you're not doing them yet, just start doing it. Practicality wise, you can do most of them on your already check-in day. Like if you have your check-in day in there, the day six text sets it up. So just start doing more of these. Cause again, if your desire is to grow, these would be something I would have put in a bunch in there. And then like you said, Don, touch base with them twice a week till their first month, help them update their order. And then you've taught them how to be integrated at that point. The rest in there, cause you know, we're going to finish up with Susan. Like how do you coach during the holiday? It's always the same answer is you focus on what they want. You stay consistent. If you hit that weekly check-in call, I promise you, you'll either know where to get the answer, your support team on how to help your client move forward or you're going to have that space. The answer is staying consistent and coaching them in their check-in day. So that's why it's so important to have that rock. So Susan, as we wrap up here today, we head up into a great season. We've given them the recipe of consistency, when to do the connections, how to bring it to the phone, how to stay consistent, the check-in day, why it all makes a big difference. And if anything is off, that's where probably your business is not. Like that's where Michelle's needed to be shored up and then it exploded. That's where Nicole's needed to be adjusted and then it exploded. She's nodding right now. I love that. Um, Susan, where would you say, because this is also a skill set, finishing the month strong and how to work this season, because we're truly in a season of focusing on people. So in our last few minutes here, would you just share some of your knowledge? You've been doing this for many years, so you know how to stay consistent. You have a great rapport with your clients. I, I mean, like anyone here wants to have your business. What Will you just share with us these last tips here as we go today? Like how should we how should we wrap up the month and how should we approach this season and how, how does working with clients well long-term, how does that really, how do, how do we do that? Everyone's asking that question. We want to learn from the master. Yeah. Well, um, well, thank you. Honestly, um, coaching well, the, this first week, we, t I talked a few weeks ago about that first note, part of it's the first. And it's also that last note, like what you leave them with and really setting them up well from the beginning, they may stray, right? Their path is going to be squiggly too, but they're going to know what's tried and true. What was authentic, what was real, what really worked. And they will find their way back to you if you really set up well on the front end. So I really want to just edify um, what the company has put out for us on Monday night, Becca Tinter pretty much knocked this out of the park about coaching well on the Monday night leadership call. You can access that from the resources tab on your Optivia Connect. And it was, she talked about what our greatest gift is to our clients over the season. Anybody remember what that is? Put it into the, the chat if you remember what she shared, because there's a, we do offer accountability. We offer finances. We offer a lot of really great gifts to people, but the biggest gift we offer, yes, is 
the healthy mindset. And I think it's what differentiates Optivia from everything else you guys that's out there right now. Um, just a lot of like, hey, you know, hit me up after the new year, like all those kinds of things, like these quick fit. I mean, we're really about creating this micro habit world for people that's 365 days a year, seven days a week. We're really connecting with our clients, giving them that healthy mindset that, um, you know, like, you know, why wait, right? I mean, I, I followed up with people like over these last few days that maybe said into the new year, right? They don't know what they don't know yet, you guys. And it's just, hey, how was your Thanksgiving? And they're like, oh man, I'm ready to get started now. Like, you know, we, we have that sort of a mentality is why wait? Um, you know, she offered four different options we can work with with our clients, helping them understand that they can navigate this. This is a lifestyle transformation. And that is our greatest gift is us holding that space is the healthy mindset, helping that and transform other people people through this season. So we assist our clients to create structure in the season. And that is where we increase our integration. They see that we're different. We're see, we, they see that we're here as a lifelong transformation company. Integration is like pieces of the whole. So we're offering all these little pieces to like create, bring them into what we really, really do. And coaching well is going to be about referrals, like offering wellness, you know, we're referral wellness credits, letting your clients know that you're a referral based business, that you have those referral programs over the season. They're going to be seeing people that people are going to see that they're different. People are going to see that they're making transformation. And a lot of people are choosing health. Yes. Into the new year, they're choosing health now guys too, right? You guys are all examples, living examples that that's happening. This isn't just a seed planning season. I find just like black Friday started in like October. I don't know about you, but I was getting emails like six weeks ago. People aren't waiting till after the new year anymore. They're starting now. Like Thanksgiving was enough for them and they are ready to get healthy. And so finishing the month strong as we kind of move into that, this really is um, a skill set, like a skill set of learning how to work. Yes, our business is about um, what we want to create and all the dreams, but it's really about also learning how do we work our business month to month to create growth. Um, you know, and to be working towards what we structurally have created and want for those dreams and everything. So right now, today, we have seven days left, guys. So do you, and this is just a question, is like a clear defined goal of what you want towards the end of the month. And very rarely is just a title. A title, actually, there's structure to it. So do you know exactly what that looks like? Exactly. And then do you have a very clear defined action plan to create it? And that is the skill set of learning how to look at this last week is where do I want to be? Where am I today? Structural tension, guys, right? And what action do I need to put in place between now and the end of the month to create what I want? It's not a like, oh, well, you know, I'm only here. Um, looks like I'm not going to hit. No, guys, like your goals are your goals. And I can tell you that anyone that makes the decision today to create what they want, they could get there. It's just a decision and it's getting complete clarity on what you want. And then assisting your teams that are like all in, that are on this call today, that their hands are raised to do the same, to gain complete clarity of what they want and have a really clear action plan going out and creating it. Um, you know, and Brad, just for time, I was going to bring you on because you had so much great energy around like, you know, what the season looks like. like. We're excited about Black Friday and Cyber Monday and offering incentive. It's like really that like overabundance of giving that we have, like you guys all are like, it's sunk in this amazing gift that you've had for yourself and you just want to share it and give it away to others. And now is a great time to be able to like, um, really share what we have and put it out there. And I know that many of you guys are running Black Friday promotions. Um, and if you haven't, you can start today. And what I have found is that you have to also earn like the right to put out like a promotion. And if you're just putting it on your page, some people will see it, but they're going to go, huh, like, what is that? Like where the, the magic happens is making this personal. It's actually like looking, who do I need to follow up with? Who will this really benefit? Who do I want to serve? What are their goals? And making a personal invitation to get started. And yes, there just happens to be a really wonderful little bit of scholarship to help you get started and make that decision to choose you this season. But, um, you know, really looking at it today, scheduling it into your schedule these next seven days daily. So that's where the daily follow-up comes in. Who is on my heart? Who do I need to reach out to and make a really like direct kind of invitation like that you're excited to partner with them over this season and help them reach their health goals. And starting lots of conversations for Corey. If it, anybody watched Corey Baker's video, if you watched it, just put a, like a, put a high five in the, in the chat. <laughs> it's like he got me fired up because he's just like, he's just willing to do a whole heck of a lot of work. 
you guys, right? Like all in, like, and starting a ton of conversations, just being highly intentional and authentic and just reach out to a lot of people over this season. And that's really, really what it takes. So if you want to develop more clients, start more conversations. If you want to develop more coaches, start more conversations because more conversations will lead to more people asking about what you do, which gives you more opportunity to bring more people to the phone which gives you more opportunity to have more health assessments, which gives you more opportunity to do those health assessments well and to integrate clients and do everything we've talked about through the structure and the system and put all the rocks in place. So it starts with the, the, the cog in the wheel that starts the wheel spinning is more conversations. Okay. Um, and then if you are working towards wrapping up the cruise, um, really look to see where you're at with that and, um, and working with your support team to like make that your goal, clear, define, clear, define action. I know I'm right at eight o'clock broad, so I'm going to wrap this up quickly. I'm just working the season ahead and, um, and we're going to wrap it up today. So if you guys can all just hang with me for just one or two more minutes here. But as we work the season ahead, Brad, you know, I've, I've been doing this for nine years. It's my ninth holiday season and I've never been more excited about a December. December is truly what you make of it. It's all, it's a mindset. And what I know is that there are people right now this morning that woke up and was praying for, praying for help. I mean, they're looking for you. It is important that we share all the variety of our full offering and before and afters throughout the season, like live loud and proud, you know, go live, get over like being scared or what people are going to think and just share what we know to be true as true transformation. You heard the stories at the beginning of this call. I loved Jen's call out to do many weekly launches. It is important that we're on our own health journey and that we too are sharing what is transforming in our own life. That is what attracts people to what we do is they're seeing like the transformation in you and they real, realize that this is real and this is authentic and that's what I want to be part of. And then just encouraging you guys to work well during the season, like really dial in these rocks, create like the tighter you make it and get really clear on what you want. Just follow the systems and schedule. It's not about working harder. This isn't about working 50 hours a week. You guys, it's about doing really intentional work in the 15 hours and stru structuring, structuring it and scheduling it into your, into your weeks. Because at the end of the day, don't you guys all want to work really well, but also rest really well and spend some time with family and friends and be able to like enjoyment of the season is not going to be one or the other. I wish I could tell you like, Oh, you're going to find this like, little lovely, no guys, it's really about working really well. In fact, if I want to give a call out to work to madly towards your dreams, like ruthlessly towards your dreams over this next season, because what you can create in the next four to six months is incredible. And I, and don't be scared of the work. I want you to go all in on that. But I also want to encourage you guys to rest well and be intentional in your rest. And then rest is a skill set. Many of us are Netflixing and chill. Netflixing? Uh, anyways, um, I'm not sure if that's the right words, but, but we're not intentionally resting. We're resting, but we're not actually allowing our mind to wander and time to sit with ourselves. Like Shireen was talking about who, what do we want? What are our values? What is our purpose? Um, and allowing our own voice and authenticity to come out and taking time for intentional rest. It's, it's, it's actually the way I look at rest is it's something we all know how to do. It's like singing or walking or, you know, but there's a way to do it really well, like we can become better at it so that rest becomes an actual part of our productive work. And this is your social media tip of the day. So don't, don't, don't lose me yet there, but is your rest and how you play and how you hobby and how you do that well is really part of your brand. And that's what attracts people. And if you do it well, you go to the walk your dog for 20 minutes. How many of you have your biggest ahas during those moments? a time with yourself where you're yielding creativity and authenticity and you're really digging into play and you're, it's like you have some of your best thought processes. And then also when you rest really well and you're having fun and you're playing really real play, that's what you're sharing with people. So many people are like, that's what they want in their life. They don't know how to access it. Maybe they don't even feel like they have time <laughs> and they don't even know how to do it. So on the news the other night, they said 50, there's $54 billion in vacation pay that's not going to be paid out this year. People aren't even taking it. It's like culturally, like, let's just work ourselves to like, yuck, right? Because people don't feel they can. You guys, we can, we can play well and we can rest well and we can work well. And this is the season to practice it. This is a practice. And rest is not, you guys, the absence of work. It's not a Netflix and chill. It's not the opposite of work. It is work's partner. It's gonna what it's gonna allow you to show up really well for everyone in your life. So that's really what I wanna 
leave you with today. And as we wrap up, I feel like everyone that shared um, actually gave value to this. I heard Tim's heart. I heard Nicole's heart. I heard, you know, um, Shereen's heart. I heard Denise's heart. And I, I know Allison and Don's heart is to become Optavia. And if you're just doing Optavia, like you're just doing, going through the motions, but you're not transforming yourself and you're not becoming yourself. You cannot fake what we do. When you become it, you will hit less roadblocks. The path will seem a little, little bit more ease. I mean, you still will have some squiggly lines. Don't get me wrong, but this is the path to really like embrace the season is, is become it. It's what attracts people to what we do. Um, and you know, like people can sense when you're just doing something. Can't you sense when people are just doing something or they live it? It's like in their bones. And that's really what I want to encourage you with. So with that, Brad, I'm going to pass it back, back to you. All right, I gotta mute myself. All right, guys, that's that is everything. Susan, 100%. The chat was blowing up. I'm just gonna leave us with this last piece right here as we wrap up. We have given you the steps. You now know what to do. You've given you the flow all the way down to what you covered, Susan. In itself is a skill set. So today, you guys, you have the goods. You have the stories. You have the. You have. We have gone through everything. Finish this month strong. I'm going to actually encourage you guys to message your support team and tell them what you, what you want to accomplish. Don't get it wrong. That wasn't an encouragement. What Susan covered there was an actual skill set of a masterfully changing coach. Just want you guys to know that it wasn't just a tip. It, it was an actual rock that you should have as an awesome coach. Stay consistent. Action. Keep those rocks in your schedule. Do the Corey Baker challenge. Message everyone on your list. A personal message. I love Corey's video. Step number two. Offer a Black Friday scholarship. It's not over yet. Like Susan said, you've been getting it for months now about Black Friday. Man, Black Friday apparently started three weeks ago, apparently. I don't know why, but that's why I was getting emails about it. Use that this weekend. I'm not saying blast, um, uh, Black Friday. I'm saying use that to have um, visibility with people and do it where it's right and just be bold right now. People are looking for you. Last little bit here. We have Intentionality Summit last week. Looking forward to spending the weekend with you guys. It's going to be powerful. We will not have a call next week. We will come back for our week six on December 8th. All right, my friends, have a great Saturday. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for being a part of the call. Thank you for everyone that contributed in the chat. I literally wish we could just have everyone talk all day long. I get so much out of hearing all you share. Thank you for everyone that dropped knowledge today and shared. We appreciate you all. Let's go dream big and take on the season. Thank you, Susan. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Did I say dream big? Dream big, my friends. <laughs> dream really, really big and do the work. Do the work. I love as we're kind of editing here out, out the door. Thank you, Nicole, for not for saying the Netflix and chill needs to go. Because honestly, we are our best selves when we are not Netflix and chill and we are getting after life. And that's when transformation happens in other lives. So no Netflix and chill this season, but resting well in everything that gives us life. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.